Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to my channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. So this card, this video, sorry, is going to have one card using stuff from the last release and two cards from the release that's going on right now. So we have a lot of cool stuff in this release. I have the caffeinated chameleon, the caffeinated meerkat, the butterfly stencil, and the butterfly kiss stamp set which is what you see right here and I just love that little butterfly and that sentiment that comes with that set so I had this idea for this first card and never got around to putting it in the first video from earlier this month so we're gonna do it now so I took the one line flower stamp and I stamped it as you see here instead of just doing one I did it in kind of a triangle shape that was offset on the A2 size card and it's going to be a fairly simple card. It's going to be a shaker. That's why I cut the center out. And I'm just going to color all three of these flowers with, I believe it's BV29, 23, and 20. Or BV29, 25, and 20. I'll look up the colors of the markers. I'll put them on the screen for you. And I'm just going to show you how I colored the first flower. And then skip ahead. So I have a problem with clean and simple cards. When there's a lot of white space, it like kind of freaks me out. So I had to try my hardest not to add anything else to the front panel of this card. And I have to say it was physically painful for me. I have a really hard time with it. But I did manage to not touch any of the white space after I colored in those flowers. So I wanted to put thank you I was going to use the word thank and then the word you out of the sentiment be beautiful. But I had a problem with the why. I kept trying to put it down and it was going to fall onto my acetate and I didn't want that to happen. So I took the S from the word rise in the stamp set and added it to the end of thank and just put thanks. So I added my acetate to the back of that panel with some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. I added some double sided adhesive to a piece of silver like holographic cardstock from my stash and added it to a black card base and now I'm taking the sequins that came with the last month's release those pretty little bright colorful flowers and sequins that remind me of spring and dumped almost the entire package into where the shaker will be I did add a couple of clear seed beads and uh, confetti circles from tonic but I did keep a few to add onto the centers of my flowers on the front panel. So I glued, put some glue on my foam tape, and that's double thickness foam tape. Glued my panel down, waited till it dried before I shook it, and added sequins to the center of each of the three flowers. And that was it for the first card. For the second card, I'm going to use the, butter, the bunny from the Butterfly Kiss stamp set. And I stamped her out, or him out, whichever you want to be, call it, on a piece of Tim Holtz uh, watercolor distress cardstock. And now I'm just going in with my clouds and the coffee stencil with the colors I have listed here. And I'm going to alternate the colors, making a very bright, beautiful, cloudy background. These colors together just remind me of something magical or heavenly. So I use colors similar to these in backgrounds before with clouds. Maybe not the same exact colors, but something similar. And I decided he needed to be standing on something. So I added a little cloud using the center of the stencil down there by his feet with some peacock feathers and then covered that up with the negative part of the stencil so I wouldn't get any additional color onto that cloud. And it turned out fairly well. And then, of course, I had to spray the heck out of it because I wanted it to be sparkly. I used all three different sparkle sprays that I had in my stash and then hit that with the heat gun until it was dry. And I went front and back, front and back to try to keep it from warping. And then I took my mask off. And I had him pre-watercolored with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens and some water. And I think he turned out really pretty. Now I'm going to piece, take a piece of vellum, which I cut out with a square scallop die from my stash. And we're going to stamp this out with some VersaFine 
uh, ink and then heat set that with clear embossing powder. And it says, whisper I love you to a butterfly. I can't remember the sentiment. And it will fly to heaven to deliver your message, I think it says. I'll have to get the stamp set out and read that. I rounded out the corners on that and put it in a uh, gray, like kind of a me me light gray, but not too light gray card base from my stash. And now we're going to use some of this crystal clear double thick foam tape from Rabbit Hole Designs. This stuff, I was impressed. I put three pieces of this stuff on the back of this piece of vellum. And I was very careful if you're watching me to only touch the sides because it's going to pick up the oils from your fingers. Anything, it sticks like it's super sticky. It'll pick up your fingerprints. So I only touch the sides. I glue my panels flat to the card base and then we're going to add this piece of vellum. I was very careful to not stick my hand on top of the tape that was already uncovered. And now I'm going to place that in the center off to the side of my bunny. And then I'm going to add some tiny little iridescent bubbles. And look at that. Look how you can barely see that there's any tape under there. I think that's so cool. And it's really thick, and you can see right through that stuff. So for the third card here, we're going to take the meerkat. And meerkats live in colonies. So this guy has a cup of coffee, but I didn't want just him in my slimline card. So I had to do six, I think. I did a total of six heads. And some of them I mirrored the image right on my silicone mat there so they could be facing in the other direction. And then off camera, I cut those all out and colored them with my Copics. And now I'm going to take two pieces of cardstock that I cut hills out of with dies from my stash. And I'm using over, over coffee? Oh my god, I'm bad with names tonight, apparently. I had them all in my head, and I think I listed them on the screen for you. Icing on the Cake, Sandcastle, and Over Coffee, I believe. All three of those I ink blended onto these panels. I tried to use my smaller brushes, but look how it blotched out the dark ink. I went right back to my rabbit hole brushes, because they don't do that like the small ones did with that dark ink. Then I took some of the re -inker from the same three colors, added one drop of water to each, and splattered that onto both of those hills. While that was drying, I used my Clouds in the Coffee stencil again, the inside pieces this time. And it's a boy in Fiesta Blue and ink blended a sky for my meerkats. And we're just going to do that really quick. I didn't go all the way down the panel. I'll take those off and now we're going to glue our first hill in place and that's going to be flat to the panel and I marked off where I wanted it to go so you'll see that it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom or off to the side and then I'll trim that and now I'm measuring where I want the second hill to go and I'll trim that down with my trimmer because now I'm going to see where it's going to go on the panel and mark off where I want the little heads popping out. So I'm just going to draw a line with pencil where their necks would be sticking out and then I'll cut those with my X-Acto blade very carefully. Don't cut your fingers. And I kind of curved my lines so they would look like a hole in the ground. And that wasn't enough so you can see here I kind of just drew little mounds and colored them in with dark brown markers from my Copic collection. Stuck the heads in, glued them down with some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. And after I had those three front ones on there, I measured out where the back ones would go, drew a line with my pencils again, and then just glued those down, making sure they lined up with their lines. And I made sure some of them had different color hair. They all have different colored eyes if you look closely too. That first, the top hill is going to be popped up with one layer of foam tape, so we're going to do that. Add some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to that, and then place that down on the card panel. And then our Mama or Papa Meerkat, whichever you want it to be, head of the clan, 
is going to be standing over on the left hand side with the cup of coffee. So I had to put some foam tape because his bottom half will be glued to that hill, but the other half will have to be popped up like the first hill is. Now I'm going to take a piece of craft card sock and just go around all four edges with icing on the cake. Doesn't have to be perfect, most of it's going to be covered up anyway. And then I'm going to glue that straight to the white card base, and the Slimline card base measure, measures 4 by 8.5. I put some double sided adhesive on the back of the card front, and I'll put that right down on the panel on top of the craft mat. And now I traced my smallest cloud from the clouds of my coffee stencil. Cut that out, fussy cut that out with my scissors. Erased all my pencil lines and now we're going to put the sentiment hashtag alert in the center of the cloud with the icing on my cake ink. And I stamped that like three times to get it the uh, dark, the shade I wanted. It wasn't dark enough the first two times. Pop that up with some foam tape, put some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive on that, and place that up in the sky. So we have a sentiment that goes along with our picture. And then I'm going to add some of the coffee sequins that came with this release. Coffee colored sequins. Top left, bottom right of the card. And that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys like this month's release. I think there's a lot of cute stuff in it. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email so you can be aware of new releases and lots of inspiration. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, guys.